since our last video, we um, noticed there were a few changes that Raspberry Pi made to their software. So I'm going to go over this and just make it as simple and as straightforward as possible so you can get your Tilt Pi up and running as quickly as possible. First, I'm going to select, uh, I'm going to skip the Raspberry Pi device selection. This doesn't matter. This will the, the download um, that we offer works on all operating systems or all um, devices. Uh, today I'm actually going to connect to, I'm going to use a um, Raspberry Pi 0W. Uh, uh, this is the 0W1. I have some connectors, optional connectors um, on it right now. Um, so first I'm going to choose my OS and I'm going to go to the bottom of the list. It's Normally, you would select the top or the second uh, option, but I'm going to go to the bottom of the list and select Use Custom. This will let me um, select the downloaded uh, image um, that we can get from our website. You would go to uh, tilthydrometer.com and then click on the uh, on the option, on the menu option for Raspberry for Tilt Pi. Uh, from there, there's a download link, um, and you can download. This is our latest version um, as of today's August first, twenty twenty four. This this version is is designed to operate as a server. So if you're planning to connect to an HDMI uh, monitor, we have other versions that you can download from our website. But for this um, in this case, we're just going to um, use the server version, and this is the version most recommended for a Tilt Pi or for a Raspberry Pi Zero because um, it's a very underpowered um, uh, hardware, and it just works better without a monitor connected to it. So I'm going to go ahead and select that, and for storage, um, I have a SD card, 32 gigabyte SD card connected to my computer, um, micro SD, and then I'm going to click next. It's going to ask me if I would like to apply um, OS customization settings. Um, this has been an area of, of, uh, of some problems. Um, if I click on edit settings, um, it brings up this uh, these options here. Um, let's see if I can get these on the screen here. Um, and uh, you don't want to um, change anything except you could potentially configure the wireless LAN. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Um, and uh, just because this is an option, um, uh, it, it might be more reliable than the normal method, but I'm going to go ahead and, and configure the wireless LAN. I'm actually going to be connecting to my um, my iPhone. So, um, OR iPhone 14 Okay. And then I'll click save. And then I am going to apply a customization settings. I'm going to say yes. It's going to ask me for a password to. I'm going to give it that password. And there we go. It's going to start writing the card. So we just go ahead and let that write the card. Um, writing the card and uh, I get this message um, saying I can remove the SD card from the reader, which I will do. Uh, I click continue, and then um, I will um, then follow the standard instructions as as, as normal. So 